What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Beyond the Nines. We've got another video for you, four in a row. This one's going to be the end, the end of the, the end of this season, because my God, it's been an awful season. What we're going to go through today is probably saw by the title, Kun Top Statement. What it is, we've probably looked through it. I just want to put some analysis into it. I'm going to skip over a couple of bits, but again, let's get straight into it. So, what did he say? You've probably seen this going around now. Um, this is from the Leicester City official website. A um, message from the chairman. Again, I've made try and make it as big as possible, just in case people haven't seen it. So, there's certain sections we're going to skip over because it's a little bit of a Wikipedia page, and some other bits not. Um, today we should relegate the loss and pain of relegation together, but we'll be back. I think this bit is kind of important, but we'll be back. There's the ambition to get back, which kind of is as expected. So we started this journey in 2020, 2012. Um, we came to Leicester City, the Championship Cup with the ambition took us four years to realize, um, again, to bring the club back to the Premier League. The emphasis in this is that they didn't mention the Premier League last time. They specifically mentioned getting into the Champions League. Um, which I remember the first year he came up, he said we'll have £180 million to spend to get us into the Champions League. And they did that. However, coming back to this, again, we're going to go through some of the functions, some other bits. With this one, again, the ambition took us four years to realise, um, deliberately build the club up, blah, 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 building this club up, and they've done fantastic work for the club. But the expectation recently really, really, really hurt. So, again, the mention about promotion, uh, promotion at his start, and then he goes through basically the Wikipedia of, oh, it's what we've done. We've also went to Champions League, yes. Um, again, he mentioned his father's loss. Obviously, we still feel for that. But it's important to think about where we are at this moment in time. Mention about COVID and launching LCFC Women, which is obviously really important as well. Memorable nights in Moscow, Eidenhoven, and Rome. How long ago does that seem, even though that was only last year? Yeah, it feels like a lot longer, doesn't it? Last season. Um, again, uh, setbacks. Blah, blah, blah. This is this is uh, today's um, today's uh, this responsibility. Blah, 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 blah. Um, greatest responsibility in my life, and I'll continue to put everything into it. My passion, that of my family and the entire King Power community. I mean, that's nice. Um, but again, the state state himself isn't quite good. I received massive message. This is what surprised me. Um, he actually mentioned because. Uh, both positive and negative. Someone, someone wants me to sell the club. The fact that he mentions that, um, again, obviously he's had some, it just shows he's a little bit soft, the fact that he's getting it. Again, obviously I don't condone anybody selling, telling this to top and writing on social media, obviously, but um, people are frustrated. And when you weren't, there's a lack of accountability. Instead of saying, I'm sorry, or for Brendan Rodgers still being in charge for, for the fact that he got us relegated. He doesn't, he doesn't know, and, and it's good in a sense he takes responsibility. However, are we going to learn from the lessons? Are we going to do this? No. He's coming out and he's being a little bit soft. In my opinion, it's not good enough to say, oh, well, some people anonymously have always been bad and it's just this, that and the other. Um <sighs> This is the thing, but again, for every hustle message, again, it's good that you mentioned about uh, appreciation for people that I've met anonymously. It will come to say my family, it means a lot to us. So it's nice that you sums up both sides. But I wouldn't say at the time, think the same ambition for less city for 13 years, more constrictive, we must take on board, gather together. It was next season, we will come together and fight and we'll fight to return to the Premier League. So obviously, that's the ambition, which is good. The fact that he mentions we're going to try and go to the Premier League, that's the ambition. I've skipped over some of the statement. You'll be free to read it. Again, I'll link to that statement below. But what are my thoughts? Kind of a nothing statement, really. We know the club wants to go back to the Premier League. The problem is the club didn't plan to go to the Championship. The club didn't plan to go in this position. All of our scouting for the past two years, all of the, all of the signs, even the pre-season we've got coming up against Liverpool and um, Tottenham, against Premier League opposition, wasn't designed for the championship. We got complacent. There was a little bit of accountability, but there's not. Here's what, what I want, personally as a fan. We messed up. I own this. We didn't get too much of that. It's like, oh, we'll get back to the Premier League. Here's what we're going to do differently. Now, we know that John Rudkin is a very the director of football. Um is doing different businesses. He's doing the King Power Racing and the water polo and the horses and things like that as well. As And where's he's got time to do the football club? 
at the end of the day, this isn't going to change from what we see. We need people in board or in advisor positions that are going to be cut cutthroat and ruthless. Kuntop is running out of money, as bad as it sounds. He needs to take this by the scruff of the neck and go, right, this ain't happening again. And here's how we're going to fix it. Here's how we're going to do solutions. And what's the solution? King Power running an investigation out of Susan Whelan and John Rudkin, two people that arguably caused this mess in the first place. I like Top. However, at times it feels like he's out of his depth. He's not my situation well, and we're going to have a complete fire sale of all of our assets. We're going to be stripped down to bare bones. And bear in mind, this season ended early, be, later than usual because of the World Cup. The season starts earlier because we're in the championship. And in the middle, we've got a pre-season in Asia. Four days it ends before we start in the championship. Speaking to people like Benjamin Bloom and other championship fans um, of different clubs, because again, I've personally got to rebuild all of my connections again and get all the championship connections. We've got to realise what this is and what this means, because honestly, it's not good enough. It's not good enough. For me, it's that it, even to the point where I've been so angry this last week, I don't know if you guys have been as well, so angry and bitter and just, we've gone from having the cheapest squad to ever win the league to having the most expensive team to ever get relegated in seven years. And it's been shambolic this year, disastrous, car crash. Not less than expected, not disappointing because then we're disappointed we finish in 15th, disappointed we finish in 12th. We've been smashed by Fulham. And if that wasn't bad enough, again, the Premier League team, they just come up. They just played midweek at that time as well. Five, um, we lost 5-3 to them. Think about some of the games we lost to. Blackburn, 2-1 on paper. What kind of result is that? What kind of mentality is that? It needs to go. It needs to disappear. And a lot of these players I'm kind of done by. Players, if you don't want to be here, go. Players that are running out of their contract, leave. If you're in your final year, if you don't want to fight for the badge, go. We'll be okay. We'll be here. But these players won't. We don't even know who the manager's going to be. As he mentioned, our, our priority is to hire a manager. Hire this. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to hire this person that's going to bring us back. Or even if it's not, just mentioning things like, okay, we've it took them a long time just to get in the director of bloody, not football, the, the set piece coach, how long did that take? Te technically, we're still without a, a defensive coach. John Terry's gone. Trey Shakespeare's gone. Dean Smith is now gone. We are managerless. We are rudderless. And give me something. Give me a sign. You can say we're going back to the Premier League. Actions speak louder than words. Your words rang true-ish. My thing is, show me. Don't tell me. Show me. I say this in general, all the time. People say what they want. Your actions will speak louder than your words. And I want this club to go back to Premier League. My problem is that it might not be this year. It might be the year afterwards because of the amount of turmoil. Look at Forest. We have to do something very similar to Forest because of the amount of players that are going to leave that don't want to play the championship. Some of them won't have relegation clauses. And they will have to, the contract will have to renegotiate it and they'll have to leave. Rebuild, start from scratch, burn it to the ground and start again. And that is going to take a lot of work. The person who we get in charge of this team, from a manager's perspective, I will get behind, but it has to be the right appointment. We haven't got time. We genuinely do not have time. We've only got a few months. So... That's a little bit from me. This is going to be the last because I'm fed up of sitting. You probably saw by the part three, recorded that late at night just to go, let's get this over and done with. It, it's been a disaster from start to finish. There's been not really many upsides. Very few. And we're still going to run the channel. We're still going to be there in the championship. We're still going to be reporting on it. But... It's going to be a lot more work um, because of the number of games. So content will be coming. We're going to take a little bit of a two-week gap 
close off this season a little bit and we'll come back in a couple of weeks when we're a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more, okay, we've done with that season, what's the next step? Because at the moment, I don't mind for you guys, still raging, still hurt by how much they've disappointed me. The players, Brendan Rodgers, the, the, the owners, the board, they've really messed things up really bad. I still believe in them, but I'm really hurt. So appreciate that again. Thanks for thanks for all your support this season. I just want to say a massive shout out to all of you in the comments that put your individual comments in regardless. The majority of them have been phenomenal. You know who you are, um, who I want to, who I want to speak to. Thank you to all the guests that have come on this year, even though it's been terrible. And hopefully you've enjoyed the content. It takes a lot of time to do some of these videos, even though it doesn't look like it on the outside. And I appreciate every single one of you that's ever tuned into the video and all of you that have subscribed. I'm not going to do the thing of, oh, the experts, people have subscribed. We appreciate all of you. We really, really do. Um, we're going to bring back, hopefully, a couple of special guests in the next few weeks, in the next month or so. So we can talk about football finances and transfers. But at the moment, it's still raw but we will talk about some of them things later. And hopefully we'll get you some special guests on the channel. If you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, We're closing off the season here. Um, thank you so much for all your love and support. It really means the world to me and all of us on Beyond the 90. We'll see you all in the next video. So goodbye.